old fuel boat has just dropped off some coal for us. But the engine's not that old, it's only 61 years old. Cheers! Uh, we're on the move. The locks are finally open ahead of us. So uh, just a few miles today and uh, three locks is it? I think. Three, yeah, three or four locks. Four locks, yeah. Uh, we're just going past Beeston Castle. We stayed a few days here on the way down so I think we're going to shoot through now. But there's forecast of snow and some really cold weather. We're not expecting it to happen for one minute, but we are low on water. And where we were, there's not very good access to town. So we're just gonna moor up where we're near Bunbury, which Rich has seen, I haven't. It's supposed to be a lovely nice little, little town. village, yeah. And there's water there. So if the weather does deteriorate, we know that we're okay there. So it's all right, it's been stormy again in the night. We're sick of wind and rain because it just seems to go on and on and on, doesn't it? Oh, I've never known such a, a soggy towpath in all my life. It's <laughs> it's really bad. Just into walking. So, Dogs are filthy again. <coughs> but it's dried off, it stopped raining about an hour ago and it's actually quite mild oh, it's now. Roasting. So we'll just move up, um, stop again and hopefully I don't mind if it snows, I'd quite like a little bit of yeah, snow actually. I don't actually. mind a bit of snow, I don't fancy being iced in for a few days though. I'm sick of hanging around now, I just want to get going. <laughs> We're still struggling, we're coughing and spluttering still. It's been over a week now and uh, it's been the most vicious cold I've had in God knows how long, yeah. and you? Yeah, but so. we're definitely on the mend now and uh, everything's looking good. Onwards and upwards. Over and out. <laughs> recent um, storms and bad weather there's lots of trees that have lost dead branches loads of wood laying around on um, the towpath and in the woods surrounding the canals which we've always gathered as you know um, for the fire for fuel there's been recent proposals that they're going to bring in legislation to stop the sale of wet wood and of coal and it's caused a little bit of a storm among the narrowboat community because people are panicking, thinking that they can't use their wood burners anymore. But in reality, if it comes into force, it's not really going to have much of an impact because most of the coal that we buy, the fuel that we buy is coal briquettes. Smokeless. And it's smokeless, it's not raw coal, and that's not affected by the legislation. And also, if you buy preserved, or, um, prepared cured. and cured Kill wood, that's not a problem um, and there's nothing to stop you gathering wood off of the canal side you obviously just can't sell it on to be used so in reality it won't affect us uh, wet wood does give off more fumes and more carbon dioxide so it's not ideal we just use a little bit to get our fire really hot in the mornings or to keep it going and it does bring our fuel costs down so we won't be changing what we're doing. I think we don't ever burn it if we're in town and buy houses, we use smokeless fuel. But there is quite a storm going on and quite a big conversation going on now.
I think there are some areas where you can't use wood birders at all. There's a couple of protected areas. Yeah, in London. In London. Moorings you can't, which um, is a bit of an irony considering all the traffic pollution, isn't it? And our opinion, sorry. Our opinion is that before you start having a go at um, narrow boaters and boaters for using a little bit of wood on a, on a stove, maybe they should be getting all these big companies and factories to turn off their lights at night. Um, but that's getting a bit political it's going to get there, isn't it? <laughs> it's, we all have to do our bit and we try our hardest. We have to balance up the cost um, and we really only do burn a little bit of wet, well, raw wood. It all helps. We're heading into the village of Bunbury again. <laughs> Why is that then? Because <laughs> some idiot forgot the camera last time we came in Bunbury a couple of days ago. I really wanted to film this village, it's beautiful, and the church is outstanding. So we've got a mile walk to get into the village itself. It's a really cold day. I've been out for a walk with the dogs this morning and left in beautiful bright sunshine and about five minutes later the sky was black and it was hail and sleet a little bit of snow it's really difficult weather it's and it's so cold ah, I think the just... wind chill factor is about minus two the canals are not frozen it's not uh... it just feels because of the wind so we're not moving again um, we're okay we've got everything we need so it's just not pleasant. It's been another arty farty day, isn't it? Yes, struggling to complete a decent piece of artwork. It moved very much at all, really. Um, it's just not pleasant to move when it's icy wind and rain. So we're just hoping now the weather will improve in the next day or so and we'll be on our way. Right, oh look, a greeting. <coughs> We are, it was so cosy on the boat um, this morning and looking so bleak out it's easy just to shut yourself in on days like this and sit by the fire and not go out but as soon as you get out you feel so much better there's signs of spring even in this weather all around us and uh, the birds are going potty aren't they? they are. Now it's sometimes you just have to really force yourself to get out of the boat get wrapped up and knowing that you've got hot apple cake and the Ooh. coffee when you get back to makes it well, even better. it does better. look good that apple cake doesn't it? <laughs> Rich oh, you gonna, have excelled yourself. Rich is going to throw a couple of old apples and he was going to throw them away because they were a bit bruised and I said no we'll rescue them and it's turned out really good hasn't it? So, Looks like it. Uh, we're going to get some coffee and get back the fire will be roaring. But yeah, whenever you can, just get out. I would just say to people, it's just force yourself. It's well worth it. Indeed. Friends tip of the day.
This is the tomb of Sir Hugh de Calverley. He died in 1394 and spent most of his life fighting abroad, but came back to his native Cheshire and set up this church and uh, college. And much of what he uh, built still remains. Fabulous church, it's huge. The graffiti on Sir Hugh de Calverley here was uh, committed by prisoners who were held in the church during the Civil War in the 17th century. So there were hooligans around even then. Back from our walk, and it's roasting in here. <laughs> We've got the hatch open to let a bit of the heat out. Fire's gone bananas since we left. But uh, Fran's got a right little treat for us now. Makes the three mile walk all worthwhile. Whoa, look at that. What's this, Fran? Um. Apple cake, I don't know. Dorset apple cake, Dutch apple cake, apple cake. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's apple cake. Oh, look at that. How twee. <laughs> oh, that's good. Really good. So we've been here for three nights, <coughs> recovering. And a uh, beautiful location, a bit close to the railway line, but the trains are very infrequent here, it doesn't really matter. But it's a really cool day today, nice and sunny, and uh, a bit, little bit windy, but um, we keep getting these hailstorms, but we're just gonna have to go. We're, just, we're in the mood for moving. Uh, we've got Bunbury staircase locks ahead of us, which, which is just, a set of two locks together and uh, yeah just a gentle cruise for a few miles after that probably to the junction with the Middlewich branch uh, so um, steady nice and steady day today and uh, something I'm always forgetting is to pull the pin out the ground Voila, they say never leave the boat without a rope in your hand. It's always a good maxim. These two are excited because they think they're off for a jolly good walk, but they're going inside the boat until we've got through these two locks. It's been a long time since we've been through a lock with another boat. I can't remember when it was, but this is lovely. Here the old stables. And this is the, just below the lock is the site for an Anglo-Welsh narrowboat hire company. And we saw our first hire boat go past us today. So the season begins in earnest and it's not even March yet. So we've bought this new um, wireless remote microphone system. This is the other half that attaches to me. And uh, hopefully, this is the first time I've used it, but hopefully we'll be able to uh, do the stuff I've been doing this morning remote from the camera, walking around and talking. So we've let them go out before us because nobody goes as slow as we do. So friends walk the dogs after the lock for a mile-ish and uh, we're ready to come back on the boat now. 
which is getting cold. Have a lift. What? Have a lift. Come on then. And you, come on. Oh. 